Hello, today we are going to learn how about mid circles. A mid circle of two given circles is the circle which would invert each of the two given circles into the other. The mid circle acts like a spherical mirror, which you can see the image distorted. When one of the given circles is located inside the other circle, it presents the hardest mid circle construction because we have no easy way of finding the center point of the mid circle. So first we have to construct a line R through both center points O1 and O prime one of the given circles C and C prime. And on this line R, construct a pair of circles C2 and C3, each of which is tangent to both of the given circles C and C prime, as shown here on the screen. Their center points are found by finding their midpoints. So next, construct the radical axis between the auxiliary circles C and C2 and C3. This radical axis intersects with line R at the center point O of the mid circle that we want to draw. And finally, to find the radius of the mid circle, we have to construct a tangent line from the center point O to one of the tangent circles C2 or C3. In this case, we use C2. The mid circle passes through this point of tangency T and can be seen here highlighted in red. Well, let's start by drawing the line R passing through the center points O1 and O prime one, which intersect with the given circles at four points, A, B, C, and D as shown. So the next step is to find the midpoint of AB by working out the perpendicular bisector of this line segment AB. So to do this, setting our compass on point A and with a radius slightly longer than the line segment AD, we're going to describe an arc above and below the line, as can be seen. And now with the same radius and setting it on point B, we describe another two arcs above and below the line intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now with the ruler, we will join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint E, which is the center point of an auxiliary, auxiliary tangent circle. And now setting the compass on E and with the radius EA, we draw this tangent circle. The next step is to repeat the same process with the line segment CD. So we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of this line segment CD, again, setting our compass on point D and with a radius slightly longer than the line segment DC. We're going to describe two arcs above and below the line, as shown here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point C, we scribe two new arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs as shown. And now using our ruler, we will join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint F, which is the center point of the auxiliary tangent circle. So now setting the compass on point F, and with the radius FC, we draw this tangent circle, as can be seen here. Now that we have the two auxiliary internal tangent circles, we have to find the radical axis of these two circles. To do this, we start by picking a random exterior point, O prime, as can be seen here on the screen. And now using this point as a center point, we are going to draw a random circle which cuts the auxiliary tangent circles at four points, one, two, three, and four, as shown here. So the next step is to draw a line S passing through points one and two and, elong and elongated as shown here. And now we repeat this process, drawing a new line T going through points three and four and elongated until it cuts the previously drawn line S at a new point, which we will call G, highlighted here in red. And now we are going to draw a perpendicular line 
to line R passing through point G, as can be seen here. And this will be the radical axis ER that we are looking for. Don't forget the perpendicularity symbol. This radical axis intersects with the line R at a point O, which is the center point of the mid circle we want to draw, as you can see highlighted here in red. So now we have to draw the tangent line segments from the center point O to one of the auxiliary tangent circles. This line segment is going to be a radius of the mid circle we want to draw. So to do this, we start by working out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment OF. So setting our compass on the point O and with a radius slightly longer than half the line segment OF, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point F, we scribe two more arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs, getting two intersections. And with a ruler, we join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint H, as can be seen here on the screen. So the next step, setting the compass on point H and with the radius HO, we draw another auxiliary circle as shown. This circle intersects with the circle centered in F at two tangent points T, as can be seen here. And OT is going to be the radius of the mid circle. So the final step is setting the compass on the center point O and with the radius OT, we draw the mid circle that we are looking for, as can be seen here on the screen, highlighted in red. Okay, so here you have a complete explanation about how to obtain the mid circle between two given inverse circles. So I hope this video has helped you please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by smashing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you.